Hi there, today's video is an in-depth nutritional profile comparison between red cabbage and green cabbage. Which is most nutritious? Find out. Now if you've seen some of my other nutritional profile videos, such as this one that I did on the comparison of different kinds of lettuce, green lettuce, red lettuce, and romaine, then you know that I don't do just a general summary of the nutritional profile. Like, oh, this one has a lot of vitamin B and this one has a lot of zinc. Nope. I do a value per value detailed breakdown of each nutrient compared to one another. Now I totally get it, this is maybe too much information for a lot of people who just want the generalizations, but I know that there is a group of peeps out there just like me who want the nitty gritty numeric value details for each nutrient. So today's video is for us nutrition geeks, and I mean that as a compliment. Let's not waste any more time and jump into it. Starting with the vitamin profile, each measurement is based on one cup of shredded cabbage. For vitamin A in the form of beta carotene, purple cabbage has 993 IU, green has 87.2. For vitamin C, purple has 50.7 milligrams, green has 32.6. There is zero vitamin D for each cabbage variety. For vitamin E, each has 0.1 milligrams. For vitamin K, purple has 34 micrograms and green has 67.6 micrograms. For vitamin B1, thiamine, purple has 0.1 milligrams and so does the green. For riboflavin, purple has 0.1 milligrams and green has zero. For niacin, vitamin B3, purple has 0.4 milligrams and green has 0.2. For panthenatic acid, vitamin B5, purple has 0.1 milligrams and green has 0.2. For vitamin B6, purple has 0.2 milligrams and green has 0.1. There is zero vitamin B12 for each variety. For folate, purple has 16 micrograms and green has 38.3. For choline, purple has 15.2 milligrams and green has 9.5. For betaine, Purple has 0.1 milligrams and green has 0.4. For lutein and xeanthinin, purple has 293 milligrams and green has 26.7. Yes, technically choline, betaine, lutein, and xeanthinin are not vitamins. However, there's really nowhere else to put them, so I'm combining them here with the vitamin profile. Overall, red cabbage has more higher values than the green. However, I want to point out a couple nutrients that have significantly higher values from one variety compared to the other. By significant, I mean more than double. Although green cabbage has on the average lower values for most of the nutrients, it does have double the amount of vitamin K and folate than red cabbage. Red cabbage, on the other hand, has over 10 times the amount of beta carotene, lutein, and xeanthinin. Based on the overall averages, red cabbage takes first place and green in second. Under the mineral profile, for calcium, purple has 40 milligrams and green has 35.6. For iron, purple has 0.7 milligrams, green at 0.4. For magnesium, purple has 14.2 milligrams, green at 10.7. Phosphorus, purple has 26.7 milligrams, green at 23.1. For potassium, purple has 216 milligrams, green at 151. For sodium, purple has 24 milligrams, green at 16. For zinc, both varieties have 0.2 milligrams. For copper, both varieties have a zero value. For manganese, purple has 0.2 milligrams, green at 0.1. And selenium, purple has 0.3 micrograms and green at 0.5. Red cabbage has the most higher values over the green and also there are no significant value differences to note like there was under the vitamin profile. Based on overall averages, red cabbage takes first place and green in second. Under the omega profile, for omega-3, purple has 40 milligrams, while green has zero. Under omega-6, purple has 30.3 milligrams, and green has 15.1. Red cabbage takes it again here with having higher omega values for both three and six, and I'm flagging these values as significant since red has 40 times more omega-3s and double the omega-6s over the green. Obviously, red cabbage takes first place under the omegas profile, and green takes second. Lastly, we have the amino acid profile. This is a large profile here, so if you're still hanging with me, then I know you guys are the real diehards. For overall protein levels, purple has 1.3 milligrams, green at 1.1. Tryptophan, purple has 10.7 milligrams, and green at 9.8. Theronine, purple has 34.7 milligrams, green at 31.2. Isoleucine, purple has 30.3 milligrams, and green at 26.7. 
Leucine, purple has 40.9 milligrams, green at 36.5. Lysine, purple has 43.6 milligrams, and green at 39.2. Methanine, purple has 12.5 milligrams, and green at 10.7. Cysteine, purple has 10.7 milligrams, green at 9.8. Phenylalanine, purple has 32 milligrams, green at 28.5. Tyrosine, purple has 19.6 milligrams, green at 16.9. Valine, purple has 42.7 milligrams and green at 37.4. Arginine, purple has 73.9 milligrams, green at 66.7. Histidine, purple has 21.4 milligrams and green at 19.6. Alanine, purple has 42.7 milligrams and green at 37.4. Aspartic acid, purple has 121 milligrams, green at 109. Glutamaic acid, purple has 293 milligrams, green at 262. Glycine, purple has 30.3 milligrams, green at 26.7. Proline, purple has 42.7 milligrams and green at 48.1. Serine, purple has 52.5 milligrams, green at 47.2. Both varieties of cabbage have a value of zero for hydroxyproline. Across the board, red has higher amino values. However, there are not any significant value differences to mark like in the vitamin and omega profiles. Red cabbage takes first place and green takes second for the aminos. And in reviewing for all the panels we've covered, red cabbage dominates and takes it for all categories. A bonus nutrient that I didn't cover in any of the panels is called anthocyanin. Anthocyanins are a type of flavonoid polyphenol in fruits, vegetables, and some grains and rice. Anthocyanins are responsible for the purple, blue, or black pigments. An example of these foods would be eggplant, blueberries, blackberries, forbidden rice, and you guessed it, purple cabbage. Anthocyanins fight free radicals and protect cell health interact positively with microflora that can help decrease inflammatory markers associated with chronic disease, support hormonal balance, reduce blood pressure, strengthens the immune system, helps with neurological disorders such as Alzheimer's, dementia, helps improve memory, eyesight, and cardiovascular function, just to name a few. That's a quick intro, but I thought it important to mention since red cabbage will have significant amount of this flavonoid, whereas green has zero. So did this in-depth nutritional profile comparison between the red and the green answer some questions for you? Let me know by leaving a comment below, and I do read all my comments, so I love hearing from you. And a little FYI, I'm currently working on a video on how to ferment cabbage, aka lacto-fermented sauerkraut, because it's summer and cabbage is coming ripe in the garden. So that's what inspired all this cabbage nutrition videos and the lacto-fermented video coming up. You'll find the link in the description below. And also, be a part of my channel, Clean Food Living, by hitting that subscribe button. I'd love to have your company. And before we say adieu for today, check out this video right here on which is the healthiest lettuce. I've also got this video here for you to check out as well. I hope you're having a fantastic summer or any season it is when you're watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.